One day they'll make a good video game movie. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Hollywood ruined video game movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the absolute worst times Hollywood dropped the ball on our favorite gaming properties, turning our beloved pastime into something downright embarrassing. We're specifically looking at Hollywood productions, so bottom of the barrel fare like Alone in the Dark need not apply. Hey, Bert! Number 10. Assassin's Creed We were honestly excited when filmmaker Justin Kurzel was announced as director of the big-budget Assassin's Creed movie. Yeah. The party's just getting started. With a very similar cast, Kurzel had delivered a beautiful and atmospheric adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth just a year prior, after all. But our hopes were dashed when the film was finally released and turned our favorite time-hopping, swashbuckling stab-fest into a drab snooze fest full of uninteresting characters and terrible action, when there was any action at all. While the film was intended to be the launching pad for an AC film franchise that would even tie into the games, this disastrous adaptation killed that ambition quicker than a hidden blade to the jugular. Number 9. Wing Commander this might be the only case we can ever think of when the video game had a better cast than the movie. You listen to me. Don't you ever play that stupid game with me? You hear me? The fourth game in this fan favorite space flight series boasted the likes of Mark Hamill, John Rhys Davies, and Malcolm McDowell for its live action cutscenes. The movie, released just three years later, had to make do with Freddie Prince Jr. and Matthew Lillard. Sorry, but that's a downgrade in our eyes. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Me? I, I don't know about you, but I really don't like this guy at all, man. The movie also took a lot of liberties with the series' lore, aesthetics, and characters, something that won it no love among the fanbase. With fans of the franchise outraged at the changes and general audiences unimpressed at the characters and effects, this one crashed and burned hard. Fire it up one more time. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I think the big maniac needs time to refuel. Number 8. Doom A Doom movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Carl Urban seems like a slam dunk, right? That's what we all thought back in the early 2000s. But what we got instead was a big, fat letdown. Not this time, John. What? We can handle this one. You're bullshitting me. While the movie technically adapted the game's copious and mindless action, including an ambitious first-person sequence, the film was panned upon release for being dumb as bricks and just as pretty. We're not saying a Doom movie needs to be high art, but this testosterone-fueled shoot-'em-up is more likely to induce a headache than entertain its audience. Take a chainsaw to this one and never look back, we say. Obey the direct order. Commanding officer. Number 7. Max Payne The game series that inspired this mostly forgotten Marky Mark vehicle is beloved for bringing elements like bullet time and Hong Kong-style two-fisted gun action to the video gaming world. It could be argued that the film adaptation at least adapts the game's action aesthetics, with copious slow-motion shootouts peppering the runtime. But that wouldn't excuse the absolutely dreadful writing and a cast that almost entirely phones it in. Get it, all right? Max, talk to me. Max? Now where are you going? Mark Wahlberg in particular is practically asleep at the wheel in the title role. And the supporting cast, including Mila Kunis, Bo Bridges, and Ludacris, don't fare much better. Unfortunately for fans of the games, this one turned out to be a cinematic misfire. Number 6. The Resident Evil Franchise Somewhat like the games it's based on, the Resident Evil film franchise became far more focused on bombastic action sequences than the claustrophobic horror that began the series. I told you I'd be bringing a few friends. You should have brought more. While we're not averse to big, dumb popcorn-munching action, the Resident Evil films just became too ludicrous even for us. 
they also came to bear less and less resemblance to the games as time went on. With video game protagonists like Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield being sidelined in favor of Mila Jovovich's Alice. It's a shame, since the original film in the series actually did an okay job at replicating the atmosphere of the early games. Number 5. Hitman Agent 47 There have been two attempts at bringing the adventures of everyone's favorite barcoded assassin to the big screen, and both have been disastrous. If the first film wasn't bad enough, the 2015 attempt at a Hitman movie bored audiences to tears with its dull characters, paint-by-numbers plotting, and bland action sequences. Much like the protagonist himself, the second Hitman movie felt devoid of identity, a blank slate that seemed to evaporate from our memories before we'd even left the theater. What exactly are you? An assassin. An assassin. Okay. Admit it, did you even remember this movie was a thing that happened? Like a pro Hitman player going for the silent assassin rating, it came and went with barely anyone noticing. Pretty crazy, huh? Number 4. Street Fighter – The Legend of Chun-Li This venerable fighting game franchise has some of the most colorful characters to ever grace the arcade, from series mascot Ryu, to oddballs like the stretching doll sim or the electric wildman Blanca. The 1994 Street Fighter movie leaned hard into the ridiculous nature of the games, and the results weren't pretty. Of course! This attempt at rebooting the series from the ground up went in the opposite direction, turning the colorful Street Fighter universe into a drab snooze fest. <laughs> As if that wasn't bad enough, the atrocious writing ensured it couldn't even function as a standalone movie, and the film failed to land a hit with franchise fans and casual moviegoers. Ah! Number 3. Double Dragon This 90s oddity sprang out of the hit arcade beat-em-up and followed two brothers entrusted with one half of a magical medallion, the other half of which is held by an evil industrialist. Nice hair, dude. Jimmy. Billy. Run! While the fight sequences and production values aren't actually terrible, the film is a bizarre mix of tones and styles with a goofy sensibility running through the whole thing. Lock him up! There's no telling when something completely ridiculous could happen, like the scene where a gang member dressed like a mailman dive bombs the heroes. While this does give the film a certain offbeat charm, it also makes it entirely too silly to take seriously. <laughs> Number 2. Mortal Kombat Annihilation The Mortal Kombat film franchise might have had some hope of a future after the original 1995 film, but definitely not after this train wreck. Suckers! With terrible dialogue, acting, costumes, writing, and special effects that looked dated even in the late 90s, the second Mortal Kombat movie is pretty much a disaster on every level. It's no wonder at all that the film regularly winds up on lists of the worst movies ever. <laughs> Throw in half of the original cast declining to return, and it's hard to imagine how this even got made. The first MK flick isn't really anything to write home about, but when compared to its stinker of a sequel, it's Citizen Kane. I can't take too much more of this. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. We built that. We're mechanics. Not afraid to get our hands dirty. Lara, are you okay? Lara. All right. This is very touching. <laughs> First. Number 1. Super Mario Brothers The bad video game movie to rule them all, 1993's attempt to bring the gaming powerhouse to the screen is perhaps one of the most baffling adaptations ever. Are you telling us that you can arrest a guy for being a plumber? Get out of here! The filmmakers thought it was a good idea to transform the bright and colorful Mushroom Kingdom into a dingy, grimy underground dystopia, a baffling creative decision that likely killed the film before the cameras even started rolling. I guess we're both prisoners here, huh? 
It's one of those movies that just seems completely misguided in almost every way, leading to one WTF moment after another. Even the actors on set knew they were making a terrible mistake. As actor John Leguizamo later recounted that he and co-star Bob Hoskins would down whiskey in between takes. That kinda says it all, doesn't it? Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. Somebody should have had your back. I tried.